this could be a car that I would be willing to own. As an investment, skip a GT3 RS of the 991.2 generation. I'm back at the Geneva Motor Show spontaneously. I came back to see my family in Geneva and I decided that it was worth coming by the show just to see some of the cars. So I'm going to talk you through this car. I decided to do a video on the GT3, the Porsche 911 GT3, for a few reasons. One of which is because I'm a massive, massive Porsche fan. Another one is because I think this is one of the most exciting cars here and the cars that made the biggest buzz. And another is because it is priced in a way that it's not impossible that potentially in a few years this could be a car that I would be willing to own. So I wanted to come and see it to get more information and see. In no way does this mean it's a car that I'm going to be getting now or in the near future, but it's one of those cars that I'm aspiring to get to. So one car that I've been super interested in and I thought I would share with you guys. 500 horsepower, this car, I can't believe I'm saying that a GT3 has 500 horsepower. It's a completely new engine. It's not the same out of the GT3 RS, but it's a four liter engine. I imagine it will sound amazing, but the big news on this one is it's a manual gearbox car. So depending on what will happen afterwards with uh, GT3 RSs, I've heard rumors that they're going to actually skip a GT3 RS of the 991.2 generation, and they're just gonna go straight to, I guess, what will be called the 992 generation for the GT3 RS. So normally what will happen is we'll have this GT3, then a GT2 RS version based on the facelifted car as well, and then no GT3 RS, and that will come later when they've redone the whole model range. Which is one of the reasons why I think this might be the golden car, because it might be the last GT3 with a manual gearbox, naturally aspirated engine. Maybe one of the cars that holds its value the best. Aesthetically, I'm gonna walk you through a few of the changes. There are the lights right here, which are completely different. So they're obviously from the 991.2 Gen. Uh, and then apart from that, I mean, there aren't huge differences. You got the little four liter badge under there. GT3, obviously, it's in a very, very funky color. I'm not a massive fan of the color, if I'm honest. It's got central locking wheels. Again, nothing new there. Basically, most of just under the skin is new on this car. You then got in the front different LED lights. So I don't know if you can see it down there. There you go, the different LEDs there. Different headlights in the front and a slightly different input. It's actually got 20% more downforce as well on the exterior. So yeah, this isn't gonna be a massively long video about this car, it was mainly just to show you around it and show you one of my favorite highlight cars of the show. But here it is from the exterior. I think we should hop inside and see the inside. We're inside the new GT3, the 991.2. Not that much to tell you about on the inside. It's got a full Alcantara steering wheel, which is slightly wider than it used to be. Uh, this particular one also has the sort of central pointing angle. I don't know what the official name for that is, but I really, really like it when a car has those. So that's the main difference. Steering wheel design, slightly different. Again, no bullshit, no buttons. The whole car is fixated towards your driving all of the instrument clusters exactly the same you've now got available these 918 styled seats with a slightly new looking stripe down the middle of them which looks absolutely fantastic and they really hold you in nicely and a slightly newer screen so a tactile screen which is slightly different to what it used to be but not a massive difference apart from that all of the buttons are exactly the same red stitching in this particular car carbon which is an option and this one is actually fitted with the PDK so eventually you will start seeing some pop up with the manual gearbox I don't know if that's going to be the 7 speed or I think it will be the 6 speed basically out of the 911R the same gearbox so that's why this car is so interesting because it's a manual car with a naturally aspirated engine based on the GT3 body and potentially there won't be an RS coming with it so I think that this could potentially be one of the greatest cars as an investment um, to come out obviously to drive would be fantastic and if you got one even as an investment you would be able to put some miles on it and enjoy it and I think it would be really good but it could potentially be the best way to enjoy a supercar without worrying about the value of it too much because you could use it take it to track days and do all of this and at the end of the day still sell it for what I think would be probably the money you initially bought it for so very very interesting in this car um, I think it's a fantastic looking car they haven't tweaked it too much but they didn't really need to and in terms of performance and the way it feels in general, it is just
just really, really nice. So, not a particularly long video, but one of many on this car. I'm sure you've seen plenty, but I wanted to give you my touch. While I was here, I figured this is one of the cars I really want to film. I'm going to be doing another video uh, on the Renault Alpine, which is going to be a car that I'm actually genuinely, genuinely considering putting a deposit down for. So, I'm going to go see it now and try and see if I can make my decision up or what's going to happen. So, that will be the next video coming up. Thank you for watching, as per usual, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you want more of this kind of stuff, and I'll see if I can produce more in the next couple of days being in Geneva. Thank you so much, guys. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Hey, yo. Quick cap,